Hello everyone. Uh, this time around I want to talk a little bit and I stress a little bit because I don't want to go on a great big tangents here about the casting announcement for the 13th Doctor. Now we found out this past weekend that the 13th Doctor is going to be Jodie Whittaker. Uh, obviously that means we're going to have a female Doctor. Now this of course is creating a bunch of whinging and whining and hand-wringing and so on on the interwebs and uh, you know obviously that was going to happen there's a bunch of immature assholes on the internet uh, but this basically it puts an end to months of speculation which incidentally during that speculation many lists of uh, you know, who people thought might make a good uh, 13th Doctor included a lot of uh, of women. And, you know, I think that's, that's more instructive than the knee-jerk asshole reactions that showed up within minutes of the reveal of the 13th Doctor at Wimbledon. Uh, now, there's some of the complaints are... Uh, based on uh, people's headcanon where they think that uh, there's no precedent for this in the uh, show, that it's, uh, you know, that it, it just can't happen, except for the fact that they've shown at least two Gallifreyans change sex uh, in the past few seasons, not the least of which is the Master uh, becoming Missy. And that... Uh, uh, you know, that pretty much laid the groundwork for this sort of thing so that uh, when it happened, and it was inevitable it was going to happen at some point, it was, you know, it, so the groundwork was there. Now, we've got a new showrunner coming in. We've got a new doctor coming in. This is the perfect time to make this kind of change because we don't have, because the, current, the new showrunner doesn't have anything invested in ongoing plot lines and so on yet. And uh, as I understand it, the incoming uh, showrunner has some experience uh, working with uh, Jody. So uh, that's actually uh, probably a good thing because it, it means that there, there's already some level of a working relationship. Uh, now, uh, most of this uh, whining and whinging, it's, it's totally, re it, it's just really stupid. Uh, some of it might have a point that maybe this is happening now as a, a method of virtue signaling or appeasing the social justice warrior culture out there and that sort of thing. But uh, whether that's the case or not does not matter. The decision has been made. Jodie Whittaker is going to be the 13th Doctor, unless this is some absolutely way out there, out of left field uh, and escaping from a black hole uh, fake out on the part of the BBC. And I seriously doubt that. Uh, we're going to have a female Doctor. And you know what? This is not the end of the world. And it's far, far too early to judge that decision well, for whatever reason it was made. Because we haven't seen what they're going to do. Uh, until we see what they're going to do. Until we see how it develops. We have nothing to complain about. Except maybe that we don't like the notion of a female doctor for whatever reason. But uh, you know what? People didn't like the notion of Matt Smith or the notion of David Tennant. Uh, you know, at, at the time, and then they didn't like the notion of of a, the next regeneration happening, you know. So, uh, as far as these things go, uh, it, this is probably largely a tempest in a teapot, and I suspect the furor is going to die down fairly rapidly as soon as something big uh, happens. You know, the one thing I haven't seen is I haven't seen anybody blaming Brexit for this, uh, you know. So uh, so all you anti-Brexiters out there who don't, who, who can't reason, I'm not saying that all of the anti-Brexiters can't reason, just there's a whole bunch that can't. Uh, 
any anybody out there, the anti-Brexit faction who can't reason, you can you can blame the whole uh, female doctor thing on Brexit if you want, you know, and go see that's destroying British culture or something like that. Uh, no, don't go and do that. That's just that's even more ridiculous than uh, saying, "Fine, the show's dead to me. I'm going to stop watching." Okay, fine. Well, stop watching then. Uh, it's not it's not going to bother anybody else uh, if you don't watch the show. Uh, obviously, uh, the BBC wants to get viewers in, and they want to get new viewers coming in to offset any viewers that are leaving. And maybe they will have achieved that with this decision. Uh, you know, the, the way they've gone about it, keeping things secret for so long, and then uh, the the announcement uh, at Wimbledon and and all of that, this will all serve to create increased buzz. And I think that uh, has the best chance of of improving the audience figures. It wouldn't have mattered who they were announcing. The way they've gone about it is probably about the best way to generate buzz. And I think that's what they're aiming for. Now, the, the fact that they've gone with a female uh, 13th Doctor, that's fine. And that will probably increase the buzz even more. It might get people curious uh, uh, about what's going on, people who haven't been watching the show. Whatever happens, though, we really need to wait and see. Uh, let's judge this, the res this by the results. Let's judge the choice by how it plays out, whether it works or not. And quite frankly, there's no, in my opinion, there's no reason it can't work as long as the writers and the showrunner and and Jody herself and and everybody works together and does things right. And I can't, for the life of me, imagine that uh, any of the people involved really want this to fail. So I think they're going to do their, their level best to make it work. And I currently have some hope that the new showrunner has a plan and that this was actually part of the plan all along. If that's the case, then there's much better odds that it works out. Uh, all I know is, given what they've done over the past few seasons, laying the groundwork for this, I'm pretty sure this was always planned. If not for th this regeneration, then probably for the one after. So, let's just let it be and watch the Christmas special. See how they handle the regeneration. See how they handle having the first Doctor uh, on screen, actually, uh, with the... Uh, you know, with uh, Capaldi, uh, you know, see how they handle all of that. It looks like it could be pretty good. And then see how how Jody does in her first solo outings. And when when we've seen how it's going, then we have something to criticize, something to analyze. Until then, we don't. So until then, let's sit back. Watch the idiots whine and complain on Twitter and enjoy the show and then watch and see what happens when the time comes. Anyway, that's all I have to say for now. So I'll end with the usual. If you liked the video or you didn't, leave a like or a dislike. It doesn't matter to me one way or the other. Uh, just leave a like or a dislike. If you want to be notified of future videos, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. Obviously, if you don't turn on notifications, you're not going to get notified of anything. And if you've watched this far, thanks for watching.